We've talked about the container before. It's the thing where you put your workload, your application, and then go run it on a server. And you put all your code in here with all its dependencies and it's very portable and it's that's great. But sometimes your code needs more than just the code to run in an environment. Sometimes it might need a logging agent or a proxy. And while we could put more things inside the container, that makes more processes and that means we have to manage those processes and we have to do more like an init system to make sure that we can order them in, in proper order and kill them when they need to go away. So in Kubernetes, what we do instead of containers is we actually use pods and pods are just multiple one or more containers. You can have one container in it and that's fine or you can put more containers inside too like maybe a sidecar or your logging agent and all of those containers fit inside this pod that share resources. So the pod itself you share your memory, your CPU, disk space. Then in Kubernetes when you run it you run a pod instead of just an individual container.